What's up guys, my name is Bravo and Pokemon has announced a new game which is Pokemon Legends ZA and with that it is also announced that Mega Evolution will also be making a return as well. This can open up a lot of possibilities of getting brand new Mega Forms for other Pokemon and so much more. So in this video I'm going to be going over the top 10 Mega Evolutions that I would like to see in Pokemon Legends ZA and Pokemon that just needs a new Mega Form because I'm going to be honest, I think they deserve having a Mega Form and most of the Gen 6 Pokemon didn't get any Mega Evolutions whatsoever except Di Mega Diancy as I can remember. So if you guys would like to see more videos like this, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, it is always appreciated. And we are making it on our way to 800 subs, so thank you guys so much for subscribing. And with that being said, let's dive right into it. So the first Pokemon I do want to talk about, and this is going to be number 10 is none other than Dragalge because I feel like this Pokemon needs a massive, massive <laughs> Mega Form. Like, this Pokemon is really good, and I'm honestly a really good fan of Dragalge. Like, Poison and Dragon are really good typing to deal with most of the Pokemon that is, like, so bulky. Like, Pokemon like Whimsicott and any other fairy type in general, this Pokemon is extremely good. Is good for trick room purposes and it does have a massive special defense stat of 123 good abilities good type combination like i said earlier of being poison and dragon and it has so many defenses it is just extremely wild how good this pokemon is and why not make it much more broken than it already is by giving it a mega form now i do have a lot of mega forms that i do that i picked up and i honestly loved every single design of them these are from fan made artists so i'm going to show you this one that i've recently found this one is actually really interesting as it shows like dragalge having more like of the algae around him and it looks really really cool like i can see this pokemon getting an increase in both of its defenses along with it its special attack like i can really see something like that happening and maybe it probably would get a signature move. I'm not, I doubt they would do anything like that, but if so, it'll probably be really cool. So, that's one Pokemon I would like to see get a Mega Form. The next Pokemon I do want to talk about next is Clawitzer. Now, Clawitzer is really such an underrated Pokemon. It's unfortunate that it doesn't have that good of a stat base total like this stats right here is this extremely mediocre the only thing that's going for it is a special attack stat and it's just a pure water type so it's not going to be able to do as much but it does have a really good ability which is mega launcher where it boosts the power of aura and pulse moves so moves such as aura spear dragon pulse and hydro Hyd i don't think hydro pump is part of the thing but yeah it boosts his moves like that and I would love to see a Mega Form with this Pokemon because honestly, the design is okay. It's not good, but at the same time, it's not bad, but it's really okay. And I would love to see a Mega Form for this Pokemon because honestly, I really love using this Pokemon when I played X and Y because I definitely use this Pokemon on my playthrough. Really enjoyed using it. And I was wondering why it didn't get a Mega Evolution. I feel like a Pokemon like Clawster definitely deserves it. Now, the next Pokemon I do want to talk about is Luxray. Luxray, number eight of this top 10. Luxray is a really popular Pokemon within Diamond and Pearl, and it's really hurting so many fans that this Pokemon is not a dark type, when it literally looks like it could be electric and dark, but it's not, it's just pure electric. And what hurts the fans even more is that this Pokemon doesn't even have a Mega Evolution, so that makes things a lot more <laughs> messed up. But I would really love to see a Mega Form for Luxray. Like, I feel like this Pokemon deserves it after all this time. And I'm really hoping Pokemon Legends ZA does introduce a lot of Mega Forms. Because if we could get something like this, that would honestly be really, really cool. And not only that, when it Mega Evolves, it can also be a Dark type as well. Like, I'm really hoping we get a Dark type. I know we have more Pico and all that, but... <laughs> Not much people do remember that Pokemon, but I really do love more Pico though. I'm gonna be honest, especially with that ability it has, it's really cool. I really like that type of Pikachu clone, it's amazing. So, yeah, Luxray honestly deserves a Mega Form for the next game that's coming out. Next Pokemon I do want to talk about, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people would want to see a Mega Form for said Pokemon, is Florges. 
Now, Floor Jez is another Gen 6 Pokemon, and its pre-evolution, Floet, plays a very, very crazy role within the story of X and Y, where it is the Pokemon of the King of Kalos, AZ. And I already, I already made like a whole rant about what the story is about for X and Y in my other video. Be sure to check it out, where I was talking about how Pokemon Legends ZA could be a redemption arc for Gen 6, but we'll leave that for another time. But honestly, Floet, not Floet, Florages, I'm so sorry. Florages is an extremely good Pokemon, and looking at the stats, it is, I'm not going to say it's bad, but at the same time, it's not good, because, like, the only thing that's going for this Pokemon is its special attack, and it's whopping <laughs> special defense of base 154. This has to be the one of the most tankiest Pokemon I've ever seen. And, oh my gosh, this Pokemon having a Mega Form would be amazing. Like, if we could get something like this, that would be ex crazy. And I did, I honestly do love the design of a fan-made Mega Floor just because looking at the color scheme, it's based off AZ's Floet, because that was the color of that Pokemon. So if it was to evolve into a Floor Jazz and have a Mega Form like this, that would be crazy to me. I don't know if it would have like a secondary form or oh, not secondary form. If it had like a secondary type, it could be something like a dark type or a poison type. Probably one of those two because of how it looks. I would it would honestly be cool if it kind of was a psychic type or a poison type. One of those two because those two Pokemon types are really powerful. So pairing it up with the fairy type, this Pokemon could be really threatening. Next Pokemon I do want to talk about. And this is another fan favorite that most people would want to see. Weavile. Weavile is a Pokemon that fell from grace ever since it landed into Paldea. Now, this Pokemon was so overused when it comes to like competitive singles. And now, ever since Chianpao became a thing, this Pokemon is just not used like that anymore. Because Chianpao is just Weavile but better. <laughs> Let's be honest here. Like... Imagine a Weavile from home actually being much more powerful than, than the original. That is just insane to me. But other than that, Weavile is a really good Pokemon. Looking at the stats, base 120 attack, base 125 speed, a really good stat for this Pokemon. And I could really see the stats increasing further with its attack and speed, along with probably either its special defense, because it's a little bit more higher than its other defense. But I could really see something like this happening for Weavile like if it was like any other design it could be like something like this related and then its claws has like that uh ice like it is less imbued with ice and all that that would be extremely crazy to me if that ever happened and yeah Weavile honestly deserves a mega form I'm pretty sure a lot of other people agrees on that now the next Pokemon I do want to talk about and this is a recent Pokemon as well but it's another fan favorite Tinkaton like, who, who, who can't, who could not like this Pokemon? Like, Tinkaton is an extremely crazy Pokemon. The only thing that's unfortunate about it is its stats, because the stats is completely mediocre. I honestly wish that it was much more higher than this. And fun fact, I heard that when Scarlet and Violet was in development, I'm, this is probably like a spoiler, but I heard that when Scarlet and Violet was in development, this Pokemon had a lot of attack power. Like, I don't know what it was calculated as, but it was above 100. And it was extremely high to the point where they had to nerf it because not only it had a high base attack, it also had a signature move, which was Gigaton Hammer, which is a base 160 in power. So having a Pokemon like that, having like over like 130 base attack, and it has Gigaton Hammer, I could really see that something like that not being a thing so Tinkaton honestly is a really good Pokemon I would love to see some mega forms for Pokemon of Gen 9 because I feel like some Pokemon in Gen 9 including Tinkaton should probably get a mega evolution Pokemon like Tinkaton uh Serilege Armor Rouge but we're not getting into that yet but Tinkaton is a Pokemon that deserves to get a mega form because it's really cool Next Pokemon I do want to talk about, Noivern. Noivern is a really good flying and dragon type Pokemon. Its stats is okay-ish, but I know for a fact, once it Mega Evolves, it can do a lot more with its special attack. 
I know they're gonna probably increase the speed even further just cuz and Give it a little bit of attack. So if people want to like run a physical what, Neuvern, I kind of doubt that would be a thing because looking at its move pool, it does have a lot of good moves, but a lot of people would want to focus more on its special attack because it has a lot of good stuff. It even has access to Psychic. That's the crazy part. So I can see Neuvern being another Pokemon with a Mega Form, something like, oh, spoiler, <laughs> spoiler. Something like this. <clears throat> now looking at now looking at the Mega Form of Neuvern, I actually like the design because its wings has like that design on its ears is now on its wings with the sound because this Pokemon is based off of that. So I can really see a Mega Form with Neuvern looking similar to this, but just like that. Like this Pokemon is extremely crazy. Next Pokemon I do want to talk about is Heliosk. Now, Heliosk is a really good Pokemon, and a lot of people underestimate this thing, because even though it has very low attack and defense, its special attack, special defense, and speed is something not to be messed with. Not to mention, even has the ability Solar Power. That's an ability that Charizard has when it's in Sun. And honestly, Heliosk definitely should deserve a Mega Form, because like this Pokemon is extremely good, and... I honestly like Heliosk. Something like this could be extremely crazy for Heliosk. Looking at that design right there, it could change from an electric and normal type to an electric and fire type because literally this Pokemon is kind of like based off sun properties. So I'm surprised that it's not a fire type already. But if it was to get a mega form, it should definitely transform into a fire type along with being an electric type because those two types are really good offensively. So I can see something like that happening. Next Pokemon I do want to talk about is Flygon. Flygon is a me this Pokemon alone is so popular that so many people want a mega form of this Pokemon. It is extremely good. I love using Flygon personally, even though its stats is really not this stats honestly is not that bad. Like these stats are extremely good for Pokemon like Flygon. I can see stats like this increasing even further. Like they could increase its attack and speed by like 30 points or something and it could be able to outspeed a lot of pokemon it can even outspeed most of the ruinous pokemon with the speed stat like that but yeah flygon is extremely good pokemon honestly four times weak to ice that's whatever if it's just outspeeding everyone on the field but flygon is an extremely good pokemon now i know you guys seen that old artwork that just recently this put up by accident, but I can see something like this happening for that Flygon. Like, look at this design. That design is crazy to me. I would love to see Flygon have a Mega Evolution like this, because that that is just, without a doubt, extremely cool. Like, I would love to see Flygon have a Mega Evolution for Legend ZA, because these Pokemon so far that I just shown, these Pokemon does deserve a Mega Form. But the last one on this list deserves a mega form more than all of these pokemon i just listed out and honestly it's the callow starters <laughs> it is honestly the callow starters i feel like they deserve a mega form out of every other pokemon because these pokemon didn't even get well we're not gonna count ask ninja but <laughs> these other two definitely deserve a mega form chestnut deserves a mega evolution del fox deserves a mega evolution greninja they made Ash Greninja non-existent, so they might as well make a Mega Evolution for this. <laughs> but honestly, though, these three Pokemon deserves a Mega Evolution. And it's really astonishing how we wasn't able to get that in X and Y. Because, like, Gen 7, they gave the starters their exclusive Z-moves. Generation 8, they gave the starters their exclusive G-Max forms. Gen 9, well, honestly, I can't even see much about Gen 9, but they gave them really good powerful signature moves that's all i can say about that but i would really really love to see the scala starters getting mega forms because these pokemon getting mega forms that would be extremely cool and i know we're not going to get these as actual starters in legends za because if they're trying to follow up on legends arceus and give us different starters from different regions i feel like they're going to do the same with this as well so we probably won't catch these pokemon like probably later in the game it will just be in a while but we're just not gonna be able to catch them that early but yeah that's basically all of the pokemon that i feel like deserves a mega form 
you guys let me know in the comments which Pokemon do you think deserves a Mega Evolution. And I would really love to hear your opinions about it because I'm actually curious on what Mega Evolution they'll actually put in Legends EA because this game is going to be crazy if it's coming out next year. And with that being said, I'm going to end it right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. It is always appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.